What's going on guys, I'm with the Moose and today I'm back on Mutt 17. Finally, I've been away for a few days, been super busy and stuff like that, but we're finally back. Gonna get into it and open some packs today, but first up, let's take a look at some solo challenges that are in the game. Of course, Team of the Year, you guys already know this, I'm sure, from uh, a few days back, I think on Monday, is when they released Team of the Year defense, and also this NFL Predictor Pro Bowl came out today. Do these, you get your NFL Predictor packs with uh, you know a bunch of those true or false collectibles, and then you can use them on the sets, of course. We're not gonna go through them today, uh, maybe in a future video if you guys wanna see what my picks are, but let's get into these packs. We'll see what we can get. Hopefully it's something good. I'll take a look in the auction house real quick. See what these Team of the Year Elites uh, defense, that is, are going for. Hopefully there's still a lot. We'll see, though, and I'm, I'm definitely looking for at least a couple of them. Uh, unfortunately, that you can only search Team of the Year. That's that's going to suck a little bit just because I want to sort only defense. Actually, there we go. All defense. I forgot that was a uh, option. So let's get it. Let's take a look. What are we looking at here? Uh, Cameron Wake looks like the worst one. 50K. Wow, that's pretty damn cheap. Uh, Jonathan Cyprian around 50k as well. Let's see who else we got. Devin McCourty around 70 or so. Uh, let's see what else do we have. Fletcher Cox around 80k. Uh, that's actually a decent option with that inside blitzer times too. Uh, what else are we looking at here? Brandon Graham definitely a card I want to get. I believe uh, you know when I made my team up on Mutthead and stuff like that. Brandon Graham was on there, so I'll have to pick him up later today probably. K1 Short is also in a great option as well with the line pusher and Carolina Chemistries. Uh, Akeem Tlaib, also a great option. Let's see what else we got. Sean Lee, this is a card I really, really want. Definitely going to pick this one up. Only 264k, which is not too bad at all. Landon Collins, 300k. Eric Berry, 405. Let's let's just narrow it down to 95 and higher, because those are going to be the guys that sell for the most. Eric Berry, right around 400k, like we mentioned. Uh, Junior Strangens, 455. Let's see who else we got right there. Chris Harris Jr., almost 560 or 575 I should say that's very expensive Bobby Wagner 700k that's absolutely insane great card though uh, and we have anybody else yeah Khalil Mack 1.41 million coins so that is a very very expensive card absolute beast though 97 overall with big hitter and field general times two of course I love him on the team but 1.4 million coins even if I pulled him, I, I'm not going to be using him on my squad. I got to sell that. That is too many coins to pass up on. But let's get it. We got new packs in the game today. Of course, these ones are in the game before. Team of the Year defense. They give you four defensive Team of the Year items, which are collectibles mostly. Uh, two gold or better players and so on. But these packs came out today. The Team of the Year elite defense pack guarantees an elite Team of the Year player plus four gold or better players, two silver or better players, and three team items. So, of course, the highlight of that is the elite Team of the Year player. We're going to open up this bundle right here now. One thing to note, it does say it has a 17% discount, and while that is technically true, because most bundles are basically the cost of how many how many packs it would be, um, you know, times the amount of packs. So let's you know, you get four in this bundle, and so times 3,000 points would be 12,000 points. But something to note is you don't get a topper for this, so it's basically just the four packs for 10,000 points, which is decent. But just to note, you're not going to get a topper. Obviously, it doesn't mention a topper, so don't expect one because you're not going to get one. But uh, it's just something I wanted to make sure you guys knew. Now, let's, let's warm up a little bit with a quick Team of the Year defense pack. Don't open too many of these because I don't think they're that great, but I think I'll open one just to get a quick warm up, a little, you know, uh, feel back into, uh, you know, Mutt here. I already got our two gold players right there. Got uh, Chiefs back-to-back -back INTs. Uh, Barry's two-point conversion. That was absolutely insane when they got that. And final card is going to be a Bucks down it at the one. I don't remember what that's from. Actually, I think it was from like a Sunday Night Football game. Something like that. I remember watching that game, I believe. I can't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure it's from that. But let's get into it. That pack was okay. We're going to use those collectibles on you know whatever we do. Maybe probably just sell them, honestly. But let's get it. Team of the Year Elite Defense Pack. Of course, we're looking for Khalil Mack is probably our, our top one. I'd probably also want Sean Lee, even though he doesn't sell for the most. Uh, I'll use him on my team, so that would be kind of nice. I don't have to spend the coins on him. Other than that, just, you know, Eric Berry. Don't give me Cyprian, and don't give me, uh, I already can't forget who it was. Paul Buzzlozny is one of them. There's somebody else, though, that I definitely do not want. Elite right here. Who's it going to be? And we get a Marquise Pouncey starting us off. It's going to scare me every time we get an Elite in one of these packs, because I'm always going to think it's our Elite Team of the Year player. And uh, I'm definitely interested to see who we get in these elite right here. Who's it going to be? And this time it's going to be a keep to leave. There we go. 94 overall with Denver times two and pick specialist times two. A very good pull for us. One of the higher overalls, or, or, or I should say, one of the higher cost uh, ones, I believe, around like 200K, I think. 90 speed, 92 agility, 92 press. Looks like a very solid card. Definitely an option to, for me to use. I'll have to take a look. Uh, I, I do use pick specialist, but I don't use Denver defense. So if I want to. If I want to use them on the squad, I might have to figure out how to get out or uh, max out that Denver defense if uh, I want to try to go for that. So next up, Lorenzo Alexander right there. 
Got a Mutt tip as well. Brashad Perriman Elite right here. What's it going to be? And this time, it's going to be a Janoris Jenkins. Let's go. We are hitting big right now. I didn't even realize this card has Field General. That is a great uh, chemistry for our corner to have. One of the first, maybe the only Field General uh, cornerback in the game. 92 speed, 93 excel, 95 agility, 93 man, 91 zone. I can't even keep up. These stats are insane. This card is an absolute beast. Compare him to uh, Talib. And Talib hasn't beaten zone and press. Press by a lot, actually. Uh, but otherwise, you know, I would say Janoris is a little bit better. And then comparing to Richard Sherman, and of course, uh, you know, same kind of deal. You know, Akib and Richard Sherman are very similar. Sherman, like uh, Akib Talib, beats him in zone and press. But otherwise, Janoris is taking it home. And I use both those chemistries as well, Field General and Lockdown. So that might be an option as well. It's going to be a fun day trying to recreate the team and see what we got. And of course, probably tomorrow, uh, I'll give you guys a team update and hopefully some gameplay as well. And I, I had a few guys have been asking for that. So. Let's keep going. Team of the Year Elite Defense Pack. We got pretty lucky in the first two. Definitely Janoris Jenkins, a great pull as well. Can we hit it huge, though, and get a Khalil Mack? That would make up for my lack of limited time pulls this year. I would take a Khalil Mack right here and right now. This one's going to be a Paul Puzzlesny. What do you know? We had to get a dud out there once and for all. So uh, that'll do it for that pack. Unfortunately, Paul Puzzlesny, one of the lower overalls and one of the lowest cost items as well. Coverage linebacker and tackle machine times two. You know, okay card, nothing wrong with him, honestly. Um, but he's just not as good as the other team of the year elite defense players. So, final pack, final chance at Khalil Mack for now. Hopefully we can snag him. If not, hey, maybe we'll get him in a pro pack later on. We'll see. Got a mutt tip right there. Uh, Robert Blanton, uh, Jordan Cameron, Eli Manning. Here is our elite right here. Who's it going to be? And we get another Paul Puzlesny. So, unfortunately, my recording just dropped out right there. No big deal. You know, like you guys saw, I got Paul Puzlesny twice at the end which is kind of a killer. But let me know what you guys think I should do with that Janoris Jenkins that we got. That is a very crucial uh, item. I, I basically sold the other guys, but uh, let me know what you guys think I should do with them. Should I use them? Should I not? And of course, let me know if you're opening any of these packs as well. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.